There's something more hooked up there. Come on, let's see what it is. Oh yeah, fighting good. Oh yeah, fighting good. Maybe it'll be a keeper or something. <laughs> what have I got? Get up here on the bank. Hey there, thank you for joining me today at Fishing For Real. My name's Ken. Today I'm out at uh, Fort Pickens in Florida. This is the uh, the pier right here. And I'm gonna try uh, casting some, uh, I guess some mud uh, crabs. I'm gonna throw them out here, see if maybe I could pick up a, a sheep's head or a uh, uh, mangrove snapper. I've got some cigar minnows and some uh, Spanish sardines and some finger mullet. I wanna thank you for joining me. Now let's get going and see what I can catch. All right, I got two poles rigged up here. And my sand spikes. My heavy rod, I'm gonna put a half of a finger mullet on this. The other one's a lighter rod. Still got a big hook, some 20 pound braid on it. A little 20 pound liter fluorocarbon. Three out circle hook. Got a float to keep it up off the bottom, hopefully away from the crab. Put it out over here. Let that sit. Something's hitting that piece of uh, mullet. I need it. Take it. Take it and run, buddy. Oh, there we go. Something's on this. There we go. I got something on this piece of cigar minnow, I think. Yeah. Let's see what we have here. I think I got something. Yeah, I got a little something. What do we got? Oh, what is this? What on earth? Oh, oh my goodness. Look here, guys. Oh, it's baby Spanish mackerel. Little baby Spanish mackerel. That's what bit my hook off a minute ago, I guarantee you. All right, guy, you got some. Mm, that's some bad teeth. Let me get you out of here real quick. Okay, guy. Working on it, working on it. There you go. <laughs> Baby Spanish. Good luck, buddy. Take off. There you go. Zoom. Zoom, zoom. Hopefully. There's some big Spanish around here somewhere. Hit the bottom. There it is. On the bottom. All right, so I know there are some little pinfish out here. See, I'm attacking my shrimp. So I'm going to rig up this little dial 40XD. And I'll use this long shank cricket hook with a piece of shrimp on it. And I bet you I'll catch me a little pinfish or some such. Some such. Right, right out there. Reel it in. We we're just tearing it up a bit ago. There he is. <laughs> there he is. Got a little fish. Pretty good sized little fish. He got his buddies all around him getting all messed up, all mad. Yeah, I see you, Mr. Pin. You a pinfish? You're a pinfish. Good size pinfish, yeah. All right, here we go. One pinfish. There he is. Ooh, yeah. One size pinfish. Get a bit of bait. Catch 
Catch another good pinfish. There he is. Boy, look at him go. Man, look at him go. <laughs> I hope nothing big comes and grabs him while I'm fighting him. Look at this guy go. Look at this. You better get on out of here, buddy. Look at this guy. Come on, Mr. Pin. Oh no, I hooked him in the belly. Something, there he is. Oh yeah. Another pin, pin fish. I mean, if you wanted to come out and fish in the bay and bring some ultra light stuff with the kids, you could have fun just doing this. A little bit of shrimp on a cricket hook or a gold shank, long shank hook. I got tired of playing with the pinfish, so I broke out a DOA CAL series paddle tail. New penny with a chartreuse tail to see what I can do. There he is. Oh, yeah, something finally hit that DOA. Probably gonna be a little. I don't know what this is. <laughs> what have. Oh, a hardtail. Huh. Son of a gun. Okay, guy. You're really excited, aren't you? Let me introduce you to my anti-excitement pliers. Look at that. I mean, you just barely hooked him in the skin of the head. Huh. It's a hard tail. I don't know. That might be a Jack Crevel or something. That ain't a hard tail. I'll have to look him up. I'm not familiar with this. Might be a Jack Crevel. Let him go. Zoom. A juvenile something. That's the problem with the juveniles. You, you gotta be real sure what you're doing. Jack Crevel, that's what it was. Yep, with that yellow tail. Huh, a little bit of Jack Crevel. No kind of a regulation on him. No size limit. I guess I could have kept him, but that's okay. Something is chasing bait out there. So, I'm gonna throw a bait imitation. See if I can see just what that is. There's something more hooked up there. Come on, let's see what it is. Oh yeah, fighting good. Oh yeah, fighting good. Maybe it'll be a keeper or something. <laughs> what have I got? Get up here on the bank. Yeah, buddy. It's another uh, something. Ooh, watch out. Is a hard tail? Now this is a hard tail. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, good size hard tail though. All right, dude. Got you looking. Man, they got some stickies on their tail, stickers on their tail. That's a hard tail. All right, that was cool. Call a hard tail. Keep a size to hard tail. People talk about them like they're real bad, but people keep them and eat them. I cleaned one and ate it not long ago. It tasted like any other pretty mild fish, really. You just got to cut the red meat out of them, the bloodline, as they call it. Oh, Ooh, that's an osprey. Check it out, guys. Osprey. Got him something. Got him a fish. <laughs> Shake his wings off. How about that? He's got them fish terrorized all down through there. It's like he's flying over on purpose. Just to spook him. Oh, boy. Yeah, buddy. Good hit. Did I miss him? I don't know. I think I, I don't know what I got going on here. Oh, <laughs> man, he's such a little Spanish. He put up no kind of a fight. All right, now, here you go. Oh, wrong way, buddy. 
You'll figure it out here in a minute. Oh, dude. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Just a little confused. There he goes. He can go. <laughs> Hit like a freight train. Oh boy, look at that. Spooking them bait. Spooking that bait. It may not be big, but it's still fun. I mean, what the heck? Oh, there's a little Spanish fall dead all the way up. Oh boy, yeah, good grave. Now that's something. That is something. Oh, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Come on. Oh, I done hooked him backwards. Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, okay. I wonder how long he is. Mm. Oh, good gravy. He's all scratched up. Spanish, 12 inches. Okay, hold on now. Let me get my grippers. Mm -hmm. Okay, buddy. Okay, guy. Uh. Spanish. Full fork length, 12 inches. Nope, he's too short. I think, yeah. He's too short. Like a quarter of an inch too short. Gotta let him go. Something, I think I, I got something snagged here. Little guy, what have I got? Another little Spanish. All right, buddy. Okay, who, buddy? You wasn't getting off, are you? Looks like some trolling rig done. All right, guy. Now you're gonna have to chill a bit. Chill a bit. Okay, now. Mm. There you go. And away he goes. Now, I know they're not keeper size, but they're fun, and that's what I'm out here to have is fun. Gotta love that evening bite. You can't get, ooh, there's a crab. Blue crab. You can't get out early in the morning. Evening bites sometimes hard to beat. Osprey got him another one. No, that's a pelican. Oh, there he is. Yeah, buddy. Stay pinned, babe. Stay pinned. Come on. 12, 13 inches. 12, 13 inches. What do you say? Nah. Oh, buddy. Oh, Jack Cravel. Jack Cravel. It's okay. He's slimy. 
Slammy Jack. Mm, yeah. Tell everybody about it. Oh. Oh, God, Bill. All kinds of activity around. I know there's still, oh boy, Spanish in the area. There's no big ones yet. Now these guys are 12, 12 and a half inches. I bet you in another few, oh boy, look over there. Bet you in a few more weeks, these guys will be 13, 14 inches. Feeding all this, like they are. There he is. There's one. Ah, oh, through the hook. Man, what's wrong with you guys? Another 12 inch. Well, no, not 12. 11 and a half inch Spanish. Wasn't a keeper. I could tell. <laughs> I would have had to throw him back anyway. That was just an easy, quick release. Got to feel a little tug, a little struggle, a little fight. And then he let himself go. Saved me from getting fish scales on the 